Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play My Summer Car. As you can see I was actually able to get the car into the garage. At the end of the last episode I had finished putting the front tires on and I was about to go into the spa so I could um, so I could de-stress. But the spa wasn't heated up, or so not spa, sauna. The sauna wasn't heated up yet. So I came back and I decided to try to push this thing. It turns out there is a button J that allows me to push things around. And now that the car had wheels, I wanted to see if I could get it in here, and I was able to. It took a little bit of took a little bit of doing, a little bit of messing around with it. But this is great because now not only do I have overhead lighting for if I'm working on it uh, after dark, I now can get under the car and maybe get to a few things here that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to get to. So I am excited about that. And uh, I'm hoping that that is going to help me. Oh, I see that goes. That's the fuel tank. That's the fuel line I was looking at. Well, I'm hoping that that's going to help me get this thing together a little bit more. What is that piece? Hmm. I'm not sure. But since I'm under here, I do have this uh, exhaust there, exhaust pipe. And I wonder if now that I'm underneath this car, if I'll be able to put that on somewhere. Feels like it should go this way, but I don't know where they're going to want me to point the cursor to attach it. Maybe it runs along that bracket there, but it's kind of hard to be able to see how they're going to want me to put that on. I keep saying there's a towing hook there, but I sure don't see anything like a towing hook. Oh, what I do see though is a bunch of loose bolts that are on the gas tank that I already installed like a while ago. So let me get my wrenches and come back down here and see if I can take care of that. So this is one of the things that I was definitely hoping I would find when I got down here. Uh, is that if there were, oh, I forgot to go there, <clears throat> that if there were anything like this, little things that I had missed, like those three, I thought there were four, no, just three, like those three bolts on that gas tank, that being under here would allow me to check in on them and, and get to those. So I'm glad I was able to get it in here, even if it is going to be a little bit of a pain switching there switching between uh, different tools underneath here to get to them and I'll look around after I get these three in and see if maybe there's more even that I still haven't found this last one hopefully it's the last one okay got that and let's just look over here yep here's where it was I knew I saw four before. So there's four on this side, and then there's three on that other side. And these are things that just weren't attached at all. I'm really surprised it allowed me to attach the fuel line, which I attached, I want to say, two episodes or three episodes ago. I'm surprised it allowed me to attach that with this not being tightened in. But we'll go ahead and take care of this and we'll be on with this. I don't really have any specific goals for what I want to get done in this episode. I just want to see now that I'm in this position where I can get under here if there's more to this that I'll be able to do. You know, Now that I'm on this underside I'm looking at the inside of that spindle and you can see you can see how there is a hole there where something go in. Oh look right there more more bolts that aren't tightened. I bet it's the same on this side. Can't really get as good an angle there. Yeah so let's get to those. Let's see. Um, those look a little bit smaller than the ones I was doing. So I'm going to start going with some smaller things to see which those are. Nope, not that. That's, yep, yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's definitely going to be very helpful to be under here. Because otherwise, I... I never would have seen that. There's absolutely no way. Actually, I'm looking at that too. That looks like it's some very large bolt that's not tightened. 
So I might have to grab some larger wrenches and come back to that as well. Yeah, you can see the other one on this side in that same position. Even right here, I'm not sure. No, those are tightened. I'm pretty sure those are tightened. Get this last one here. What I was saying about that hole, though, is that I'm thinking maybe that's where those half shafts go. Uh, they might, there might be something else that they're supposed to attach to that's not in there yet. But now that I can get under here, we can we can check that out a lot more easily. Yeah, that is something that's just not even tightened down at all. You can see it's actually changing the position of the tire as I tighten this, and I'm hoping the car doesn't fall on me since I'm down here and changing this. Unless that's something I shouldn't be messing with right now, because it just kind of keeps going and it doesn't... Maybe... Oh, is that how I changed the alignment? Because that just keeps on turning that wheel. That might be how I fix the alignment. I'm not sure. Is it that easy to fix on, on actual cars? I don't think it is. But you can see how these are connected. Turning this one turns the other one and so on. So I think that is what that is. Those two are my alignment screws that I probably shouldn't be messing with right now. Let's just go back here and have a look on, on these. Since I'm kind of on a roll finding things that aren't put on correctly. But it looks like on these, I don't see anything that is screaming out to me as something that I need to tighten down. Alright, so I couldn't get the exhaust on. I do think that's probably going to be one of the last things to go on. So let's see what I can do. I've still got... Well, I've still got both of these these half shafts, and I've still got these coil springs. I'm going to go on my instinct there and see if I can get this half shaft in from the underside right over into here. It might help if I rotate it. I'm not certain. But I feel like it should kind of go right there. But it doesn't seem to want to go in. And again, these ones don't have any marking to tell me that one, they're front left or front right or anything like that. So if there is a specific side that they're supposed to go on, I don't really I don't really have a way of telling. Let's just look back here. I don't just judging from what I'm seeing on the bottom, I think this is a front wheel drive car, so I think this is going to make a connection up here. I might have to already have the engine in before I'm able to hook these up. But I'm not really certain. As with everything in this game, I'm not I'm not certain on anything in this game. Except that the mosquito spray keeps mosquitoes away and that dying of dehydration is a real thing. <clears throat> so let's drop these right now and just since I'm having so much fun being able to get under there, we'll grab these coil springs and just see if we can do anything with these. Because I'm thinking maybe uh, where was it? Right? there, where that, um, I can't remember what those were called, but where that ends. I thought it might go on there, but it doesn't seem to want to give me any sort of check mark or anything telling me I can put it there. I'll try it on this side just to be certain, but that might be something that either I was supposed to put somewhere else or that goes on in another place. Like that, yeah, let's just, we'll check back here to see if it's something that goes on in the back. But it doesn't look like it's going to give me any kind of option. Oops. There we go. Nope. Alright. Well, either I've missed where those are supposed to go on, which is very likely, or they go on elsewhere. For right now, now that I've got so much of this together, I do really wonder how I'm supposed to put the engine itself in, but let's look at some of these other things I have. There's the handbrake. Maybe I can put the handbrake in right now. That should go on the interior of the car. Probably down here. Let's get in here. And I can't get any lower than that, so it's that or nothing. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be giving me any option on where to put that. I might have to put some other part of the braking system in first. There's a lot, it looks like there's a lot to the brakes. Um, there's 
clutch master I'm not sure what that is there's the brake lining right here uh, brake master cylinder I have no clue where that goes maybe if I try to put in the brake lining if it lets me put this in maybe that'll give me a clue as to where that other is supposed to go so I don't know if I'm supposed to put this in from inside or from underneath probably from underneath I would guess oh right there it gave me a check mark I can put it in from on top apparently maybe oh 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 right there all right but that's definitely something i'm gonna have to go under to tighten up so yeah it's really good that we have this in here now so that we can uh work on it i'm just worried about like that tire slipping and it falling on me but you know that's that's something we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to face i don't see where it put that i don't I thought that the way it clicked in, it seemed like maybe it put it underneath, but uh, now that I'm looking at it, I don't see, unless unless that's a part of it there, but I think that was there already. Uh, let's see, does that go to the front brake? It's really kind of hard to tell, just from looking at it right here. I don't know. Oh, okay, it went on the inside here. So that's, oh, wrong button. So that's stuff that was not put in yet. Yep, brake lining. So I just gotta find the right thing. It looks like it only has that one bolt that I can see from down here. It might be, I might have more that I can see from up there. You can see where there's something that attaches to it there. You can tell from those bolts that are there. Um, maybe that brake master thing that I didn't know where it goes. Right now, let's focus on finding the right wrench for the underside here. I might want to move those closer. It's going to be a pain. Or I'll just go to the top. I'm just going to do that. Bring these around with me. Oh, come on. Grab it. There we go. I'll just bring these around with me to the top side because I do think I'll be able to reach it from there. Maybe even a little bit better. put these on the side of the car. Maybe they'll stay. There we go. It's a nice detail. You can see that when I put those on, it actually did uh, change how the car was sitting. It, it changed the brakes. Uh, it changed how the shocks were holding it up. Well, now that I'm looking at it from this side, I am kind of wondering, am I going to be able to reach that? And it occurs to me that... Oh, what is that? Is that something that's... It's, it's already done. It occurs to me that I don't know if I can climb in this anymore. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, that I would just fall straight through. Oh, but hey, the good news is I do have the right size thing for that. So there we go. Get that all tightened down. Oh, but it looks like these are more over here. Oh, good, but they're the same size, so that's not a problem. There's a lot of that. That is, how many is that? Five? Four? Four on that thing? All right, well, I guess my, my brakes will be secure. That's a good thing. Hopefully this isn't just like locking the brakes into place and not allowing them any move movement. I can see that being something that would happen. But hopefully this is just connecting the brakes. Uh, now that I've got that, let's look. Obviously I can't do anything with those yet. Okay, it looks like that's probably, looks like that's probably it for that. Oh, no, no, there's one right here where that connects. Well, great, I'm glad I looked. Let's get the one over on this side then. If I can see it right there. I wonder, this probably, I would assume the brakes go to the back as well. So I don't see any wire that heads that way, unless it's this one. So let's have a look back here. It seems like they're mostly, well, it seems like they're all using this same size. So we'll look back here and just see if there's anything we can, we can see that's going into it. I'm not really, what is that? There's a piece, that dark gray line right there, which is just going right onto the edge of that. And I don't, I don't think that's right. Is that on this side as well? 
That doesn't seem like that should be doing that. Well, eh, whatever. I don't see any. I don't see any bolts to tighten. We're just gonna go with it. So let's look at what other part of the brakes that I can put in. Uh, what was that? Where was that piece here? The master brake cylinder. I'm wondering if that connects right there. It does. Yes. All right. Is that going to be that same size? It even is. This is fantastic. Everything's. Uh oh, what just happened? Oh, sorry about that, everyone. I'm not sure why my computer decided to switch. I might have accidentally hit a hit a key. Please don't judge my desktop. Actually, now that I'm saying that, I'm definitely just going to take that part out, so you guys can't judge my desktop. I'll just, it'll just go to black there in the actual video. Uh, but that one's not the same size, is it? Son of a gun. Yeah, okay, so there's two that actually attach that to the frame of the car that are not the same size. So let's see what size those are going to be and get whatever tool I need. And they look pretty small, but maybe not as small as that one. Hard to say. Go here. It's good to know that I can reach it from here at least. But, oh, yep, that highlighted right there. All right, I'll get this in. I'm just gonna grab everything that says like break anything. I see another, I should see another uh, bolt right there that I missed. Probably couldn't see it from underneath. So I'll switch back to that other wrench in a second and try to do that. My fatigue is getting pretty high too. I just looked up at all my gauges. Thirst and hunger aren't doing super fantastic either, if I'm being honest. So let's switch. I think it was this one that I was using before. Yep. And let's see if that will get onto that one. No, it's not. For whatever reason. I don't know if it's because I'm too far away. Well, let me try to get underneath and do that one then. It's either that it's too far away or that I have too large a wrench, because that one does look very small. Let's see if I can spot it from underneath here. Looks like it was right around here. Yeah, because it was right behind that thing. There it is. Yeah, so I did have the right size. It just uh, was not... <clears throat> it just was too far away that I couldn't reach it. Great! So hopefully that's the brakes connected. I'll, when, if this thing ever starts up, I'll be sure to drive real slow at first, in case I don't have those all connected right. And uh, now I wonder if I can put in this handbrake that I had tried to put in earlier, now that I have the brake wiring in. So yeah, I feel like this should go just right on the floor down here, you know, or like between the seats. That's somewhere where handbrakes often are, right? But unfortunately, it's not giving me any option to put this in, so there's likely something else that has to go in first. Let's just drop that. I think this is just a this is just a car jack, right? Great. Don't need that right now. What is this clutch lining? That seems important. And uh, gear linkage again, very very important stuff there. Do I have two batteries? I have this battery, and then there is also a battery over here. Isn't this a battery? No. No, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh! Oh, it's an amp meter. I don't know what the right word for that is. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if I use that to, like, charge the battery or something. I have a sledgehammer? Alright. Hope I don't need that on the car. Okay, mud flaps. What was this again? Fuel strainer. We're gonna see. Let's see if we can do something with that. I feel like that could go maybe underneath somewhere. Attached to the fuel tank. That's where I would put a fuel strainer. And then all the mechanics said all at once, then you would put it in the wrong place. You idiot. Ah! 
There we go. Is that a bolt on the underside? No, it is not. But it does... Okay, I do see where there would be a bolt. I wonder if I can see it from the other side where that goes in. And let's just follow this around. Okay, so it doesn't bolt anything else, it doesn't look like. Alright, let's get top side. See if I can see where that one bolt comes through. Looks like it probably came through right behind the tire. Though, unfortunately, uh, who knows if I'll even be able to see it. Down. Right around here. Get a closer look. And no, I'm not... I'm not seeing anything where that's coming through real bad, so let's get a look from the top. Okay, I, I guess not. I don't think that is a screw after all. So that must just sit there. It's a little disconcerting, but we'll we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We're getting things put in, that's what's important. Uh, fatigue's very high. I've got either a fly or a mosquito has come back, so that's not something I'm excited about. But it's just something that is happening. What is this? Clutch master cylinder. Let's see. So if the brake thing went there, where does this go? I would think somewhere nearby the same area? Yeah. Okay. I don't see any bolts on that one though. Oh yes I do. They were just behind it. Do I have the right tool? No. It's probably the same size as those others which was this one. Let's see if I'm right about that. Yeah. Okay, so got that going. Is that where you put in like brake fluid? Is, are those caps on the top? Is that something that I can unscrew? That will be I think very important for me to know later on <laughs> before I actually try to drive this thing. I think that's going to be extremely important in fact. Let me just see, does it give me like an option to interact with those? Yes it does and indeed they do screw off so that's got to be where the brake fluid goes on. Is there such a thing as clutch fluid or is it going to be like transmission fluid probably, right? That's where this would go. So I'll have to try to remember which one of those is which, though I am concerned about the brake fluid because it has two different ones and I have no idea if that's going to be like put brake fluid in both or if... I don't know, I just don't know at all. Um, I probably should go and like rest and drink something and eat something but I'm really, I just feel like I'm on a roll. No, no, I should be, I should be a good boy. So. Uh, there'll be a little cut here, and I'm going to go I have a bunch of beer that's left in the boat, so I'm going to go get the beer from the boat, bring it into the house, because I finished the case that was in the house, and uh, then I'll eat something and, and sleep, and then we'll be back. When we come back, I'll be fixing the car again, probably. Okay, we're back. So I took care of most of my needs, uh, I noticed my stress is still getting pretty high, but I've got the sauna heating, so I'll, we'll have a cut again later where I go and take care of that. There's some bug buzzing around me, I'm not sure if it's the mosquito or the fly, so I'm just going to use some mosquito spray just to cover my bases. And we'll get back to this. So I've got the clutch master cylinder in, there was something over here that said clutch lining I think? gear linkage, clutch lining. So that's got to attach, I would assume, to that master cylinder. Same as kind of how the brake lining did. Attached to the brake cylinder. Oh, I saw a check mark there. There we go. And hopefully that doesn't have quite as many, uh, quite as many places that I have to screw it in as the other. But there's at least that one that I don't seem to be able to reach from here. Or no, I don't have the right size, because that's going to be the... Um, Uh-oh, where'd my wrenches go? Are they down there? Well, that's a problem. Um, okay, so... I'm hoping that my wrenches just fell down here for whatever reason. 
They did. All right, that's great. <laughs> so if my wrenches went missing, I'd be completely, completely boned. All right, let's get these back up here. Uh, like I was saying, though, I'm pretty sure I just have the wrong size wrench for what I'm trying to do there. It's probably the same one that I had to use for the uh, brake part. Oh, come on. Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's this one, so let me just grab it. And we can see here. Yeah. So we're just, I'm just going to follow that line and see if I can spot any places where that needs to be tightened down. Uh, it looks like it does okay there. There is one there, but I don't know, is that even connected to anything? Well, let's do it anyway, I guess. Okay. I don't know. It, it, I feel bad that that's not connected to anything. I feel like that's going to stop me from putting something else in. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and undo that one a little bit. And uh, I'll try to remember that it's there so that the clutch works later. Alright, what other things have either brake or clutch in their name? Obviously, that's going to connect to the gear linkage. This is the, the gear stick. There's the gear linkage. I don't want to try to put that in quite yet. Just got a bad feeling about it, if I'm being honest. Uh, the handbrake is bothering me that I can't put that in because that feels like something that I should be able to put in but it won't give me the option to yet uh, obviously that's going to connect to the exhaust once I am able to put the exhaust on there these are all body parts Sorry, a bunch of very loud motorcycles just drove by my house, so I don't know if you could hear them on the audio. That's why I was being quiet there. Let me grab this steering column. I'm pretty sure I should be able to put this in now, now that I have other pieces kind of attached. Kind of attached. Hopefully they're actually attached. But I'm thinking this should go right... well, I know this should go right here. I just don't know if I can actually put it in yet. There. Saw a checkbox. Check mark. Uh -huh. Alright. And look around that and see if there's any spots. I. Surprisingly, I don't see any. Yeah, I don't see any kind of bolts. Let's look on the inside where it's connecting to that other bit. And I don't really see any there either. No. Well, I'll look from the bottom at some other time. Right now we'll go ahead and put the steering wheel on just so I can say that I'm still doing things. And uh, I don't think this is going to take any special tightening or anything to put this on either. should just pop on there. Let's get a better look at it. Actually, no, that one does have a bolt. Not the same size as I have right now though, so let's go over here where I've got these wrenches and see what size I need. I'll go ahead, I'll just bring these in the car with me so I'm not having to go through and back and all that. Alright, you stay there. Let's go larger. The sun must be rising because uh, my frame rate is dropping dramatically, and it always kind of does when the sun rises. Which probably has to do more with my computer than the game, but it's still annoying. There we go. Get that tightened down. Alright. Got a place for the ignition. Uh, let's, I guess, see if we can put the clutch in. And we have the clutch, well no, uh, probably the gear linkage first. Let's see if we can get the gear linkage in. I'm not even sure where exactly that's going to go. I, I'm, I mean, I assume that at some point it connects to the engine. But I don't know exactly how. Yeah, reach in here. And 
I'm not seeing it. Don't give me a lot of options here. Let's see if there's a. If I have to put it in from the inside. Possibly have to put it in from the underside. No, I don't want to enter driving mode. No, no options from here either. It could be that this has to connect to the engine once it's in. But I'm kind of insane that about a lot of things. I, I know that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let's just we'll, we'll go under the car and see if maybe it goes in under there. Because uh, I really, I've been saying that a lot about, oh, this probably goes in after I have the engine in, but I don't no idea how to put the engine in. There it goes. It just goes underneath. That's fantastic. Let's uh, see if I can spot any place where I need to bolt that on. I can see, I see two bolts there, but there's nothing attached to them yet. So that's got to be something that I attach later, I would assume. Uh, actually, I see a third one up there. So, but those are all things that probably once I get the engine on, those will screw into the gearbox. Um, okay, that looks pretty good though. There's nothing here for it to really connect to, but that does show me that that's got to be where the actual gear shifter goes. So we'll go and grab that and put it in, and then I might I might see if I can put the stupid engine in. I'm really still worried that I'm going to have to use this and I just don't know how and I don't really want to have to mess with it to figure it out. That's not the right thing. Here. I know that the actual, you know, creation of, of cars and all of this technology that goes into it, it, it didn't just happen overnight. It was over the course of, you know, years of them figuring things out. But it's still amazing, to me at least, how sophisticated all of this is. Why the heck isn't it letting me put this in? Ah, that's frustrating. Still though, it's amazing how sophisticated all this is and how, you know, some of it's really beautiful in its simplicity. I would assume it goes right there. Yeah, I can see, I can see that gear linkage. So why won't you let me install this? I mean, should I try to put this in from the underside? Maybe that's the trick. I'm gonna try it. Oh, yeah, I hear the phone ringing. I don't care. I'm tired of the phone. So like, I feel like it should go right here. It does. I saw that. Check. Boom. Got it. And I am really shocked there is no bolt that I'm supposed to tighten there. I actually, I, I sincerely hope that on actual cars there is more than just it slotting in to hold it in place. really feel like there should be more than that. That doesn't seem safe even a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna go and... Wait, 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 what is that? Oh, no. More, th more, more bolts that I missed. Okay, I'm gonna take care of those because that seems like it could be important. <laughs> and um, then then I'll cut and I'll go and do the sauna thing and uh, we'll come back. Get this positioned where I can actually see it. There. Well, I can't, I can't find a spot where I can see. Oh, right there. I'll look through that hole. Okay. Let's see what puts those on. Not that. Probably something pretty stout, I would think. But, again, I'm, I'm always just guessing. But there it is. Oh, the phone again? Jeez. If I, is it one of those things where if I don't answer, they're just going to keep calling? I hate that in real life. I don't need that in my video games. down where we can see it and get that on there. Is that that thing that was like maybe it was in wrong and that's why it looked like it was going into the um that's why it looked like it was going into the other thing? What am I hold on. I gotta get into this stupid car. What am I looking at here? More loose bolts. Oh. That's for something rather important. The uh gas and brakes there and then I, does that 
Ah, this boosts me up too much when I get in. I can't really see what I'm doing all the time. No, that's just all kinds of wiring stuff. But definitely those two should be connected better than that. Okay, so that's the clutch and the brake. So that connects to the inside of those two master cylinders that I put in there. Or at least, I do feel like I'm learning a little bit more about how cars work. Not that I could actually do any of this in real life. It would be catastrophic if I tried. But at least I have some sort of knowledge of, yes, this is how cars work a little bit. <laughs> or at least I can have the feeling that I have that knowledge, whether I actually do or not. I guess it's this one. No? I skipped one there. I don't want to assume that it's not that. Oh, good thing I didn't assume because it is that one. Let's get those together. Now, what is the gas? Why? Like, the gas is still not connected to anything that I can see. So, what is that going to connect to? Well, I don't have time to worry about it right now. My stress is way too high. I'm going to go de stress in the stupid sauna. And then, um,. Actually, that's where, that's where I'll end this one. We did get a lot together, actually. We got the um, cylinder and the brake thing in. We got all kinds of linings in. We got the gear shift and the steering column attached. I think that's a good stopping point for this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy watching me struggle through this, what I consider just nearly impossible game. <laughs> and uh, um, I'll see you next time. I've been updating on Tuesdays and Thursdays is my goal. And so far that's been working out. I've been putting videos up uh, to where I can, I can schedule them in advance so that they come out on those days. So again, I hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.